Uh, guys, you're not going to believe what I just did. I just recorded a whole video. It was like 11 minutes long. The commentary was pretty good. And I was trying to use my system mic. And I didn't actually check to see whether my headset was plugged in. And it was. So my headset was sitting next to my computer, plugged in. And I was talking at my computer with no headset on. So that whole video just went to shit. So I'll try to make this video as good as I can. This, this is going to be take two, unfortunately. But um, this video is a guide on Pyramid Plunder for 10 HPs and level 3s. Um, and basically the only difference when you're at 10 HP is that you're going to need to be eating best, basically every single time you fail. You have to pay a little bit more attention. But other than that, it's really not that different than being a high level. Um, a lot of people see like level threes with high thieving and they're like confused how they did it because you have such little hit points but there are ways to do it where it's quite fast I mean at level 91 thieving you can still get well over 200k XP per hour, per hour here so it's really not too hard and I hope you guys find this guide helpful and realize that you can get your thieving up pretty easily on a level three skiller so as far as inventory setup I am I just done one run because I was showing it all off and everything but basically what you want to have is you want a Pharaoh Scepter and now the Pharaoh Scepter costs 1.5 to 2 mil ish but it's well worth the money if you have the money just buy one get 99 thieving then sell it again obviously I mean it's not going to cost you anything at all and it's just nice to have because you can skip doing all the doors on the outside of Pyramid Plunder if you guys have done ever done it before you know what I'm talking about but when you get to the actual pyramid on the outside you have to run around to different doors and keep trying them until you find this guy because this guy's only through one of the doors and then four of the doors and it switches after each run so it's a pain in the ass so this one this scepter just teleports you right next to him so you don't have to go through all that and then you want to have a super anti-poison I recommend just bringing one four dose that's I've never used more than one for a run um, and I bring super energy because my agility is pretty low and um, I weigh a bit because well I only weigh one kilogram but my agility is pretty low you might not need it at higher agility but you probably still will um, because you will be running through a lot of rooms and your your run energy just runs down. It takes about 20% per run. Um, and then I bring a house tablet. Um, I just teleport to my house when I run out of food and then I use my glory to get to Edgeville and I bank pretty quickly. Now one thing that you really need to keep in mind is that the Pharaoh Scepter does not protect over fairly uh, over many things. Um, and potions are included in that. Now if I had three potions in my inventory then they would protect and the scepter would be down here. So that's why I can only take two potions. Um, and you can't take jewelry like uh, rings of dueling or, or anything. I mean that'd be faster uh, banking but the jewelry will protect over the pharaoh scepter which is stupid but that's how it is. So you have to be really careful and before starting a run make sure you check your items kept on death because especially at first when you're not used to when to eat and stuff you might die a few times and it won't matter as long as you keep your scepter but if you lose your scepter you'll be fucked so yeah that's about it for setup you, you basically just want your scepter you want the potions the teleport and the rest is going to be cakes and I'd recommend leaving a few inventory spots open just to collect um, the artifacts because you will need to use the artifacts every three runs to recharge the scepter and if you have 91 thieving then you should be fine with gold artifacts you need six gold artifacts to recharge the scepter and you can get that in two runs probably so you should be fine and lower than that I would recommend bringing a few less cakes because you're gonna need 12 stone artifacts and you may not be able to get enough gold so you just wanna wanna be able to have 12 inventory spaces free after a few runs um, to recharge your scepter with the stone artifacts instead <clears throat> so that's about it you just wanna make sure that you keep on top and check you can check your charges by hitting examine and it will also it'll also tell you how many charges you use um, how many charges you have left every time you teleport. Now one thing that's important is that when you click teleport there are three different options and you want to click the top one, Jal Savra. Now it won't let me teleport because I'm already here. But Jal Savra will bring you to the um, pyramid in Sophonim which is where uh, Pyramid Plunder is. So I'm going to start off a run and I'm going to show you guys basically what you do. So you hit start mini game with the Guardian Mummy here. Go through a little dialogue and right when you get in you'll notice that there are spear traps here now you want to click the spear trap on the outside of it and don't walk in front of it because it will hit you for damage and get knocked back and you should be able to dismantle that fine and then you want to just run to these doors to these tomb doors here and you want to keep opening them until you get through it's a random chance there will be one door that's the correct door 
and the rest of them are just dead ends. So you want to keep going through the rooms. Now there are eight rooms, and each one requires ten higher thieving. It starts at level 21 and goes up to level 91. And what you want to be doing is whatever thieving level you are at, um, you want to be doing the last two rooms that you can do. So if you're level 91 thieving, you want to be doing level 81 and level 91 rooms, which are room 7 and room 8. So the lower you're thieving, the less running you're going to have to do to get through here, but obviously the less experience you're going to get. So you just keep running through these different rooms. Now I usually keep my camera angled so that north is facing east. Basically you can see north is going this way. And I find that this is the easiest uh, angle to use just so I don't have to keep rotating my camera all over the place. And I've done a lot of pyramid plunder so I know my way around pretty quickly. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but... Yeah, see there, I, I just failed the trap. You can't actually fail that, but you don't fail it very often. So you just keep running through, um, and if you're level 81 thieving, then you want to stop here and start your plunder, but I'm level 91, so I'm going to stop in the next room. Um, now each run is five minutes. It's on a timer. This little thing is not actually helpful, but you, you follow this bar, and this bar is telling you how much time you have left. Um, so you want to loot your second to last room as much as you can, but the important thing is to make sure that you have enough time and just enough time to loot all of the urns in the last room because those are going to give you the most experience. And as you can see, I got poisoned there from the first urn that I failed on, and you just want to drink your super anti-poison to make sure that you're not poisoned, and the super anti-poison will last you for five minutes per dose. <coughs> so basically, if you are 91 thieving, then um, you're going to be doing this room until the bar hits about the line with the queue and then you want to start opening doors to get to the next room and that should leave you with just enough time in most cases it varies a little bit just based on your luck and failure failure and everything sometimes you get through a whole room without failing at all and sometimes you fail like eight times in a row in one urn so you just have to leave enough time and if you stop about here then you hardly ever should run out of time in the last room and I haven't timed it for other levels because I didn't start doing this until level 91 but it shouldn't be massively different, maybe just to add a little bit more time. And the most important thing on a 10 HP account is that every single time you fail you want to eat, unless you get hit for a 3 because these keeks heal 4, so you can take 2 hits if you start at 10 HP and get hit for a 3, but otherwise you want to eat every single time you fail, and you just have to pay a little bit more attention than uh, if you had higher hit points, because if you fail like if you get hit a 4, you got 8 HP, you get hit another 4, then you're dead. And you don't want to die. <laughs> so, oh, there I just, oh, let's see, if I fail this trap again, I'll die, which is bad. And that's the type of thing you want to avoid. You just have to keep on top of it. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is this sarcophagus right here. If you are level 3, do not open the sarcophagus because it gives you strength XP and it does not even give you thieving XP so it's a waste and it will get you strength XP. I don't know how much but nobody wants strength XP if you're level 3. <laughs> so avoid this sarcophagus and even if you don't care about strength XP I would still not open this because you have a chance of releasing a mummy which is level 84 and is aggressive and will attack you and then once you leave the room it will attack other players which is really annoying so it's kind of a, a matter of courtesy don't open this sarcophagus if there's anyone else around because they'll be pissed off at you <laughs> and it's, it doesn't really benefit you at all if anything it just wastes time because you're getting strength XP instead of thieving XP and obviously you're here for thieving XP and finally you have these grand gold chests and this has a chance of releasing a scarab swarm which is I believe is level 90 and it will attack you very rapidly and it doesn't hit high damage but it can still be pretty dangerous for level 3's now I often do still open this chest, but only on rooms that I'm going to be leaving immediately. You don't want to have it attacking you for long periods of time, because it will kill you fairly quickly. And from this grand gold chest, you have a very small chance of getting the Pharaoh Scepter. So I, if I have extra time in the last room, I usually do loot this chest, just for the off chance, and also because you always get a, a golden artifact. And once you've looted everything, you just head out of the door and teleport back in for your next run. So that's about it for Pyramid Plunder, really. It's not an extremely complicated minigame. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Each run is 5 minutes, and you can expect to get all around 20 to 30k experience per run. And it totals up to over 200k an hour, up to 250k an hour if you're level 91. So it's quite fast, fairly easy, 
and getting 99 thieving on a level 3 skiller is really not as hard as a lot of people think. So, um, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, this is what I'm going to be doing to level 99 thieving, and I should have it in a week or two. Um, and that's about all I have for you guys. So let me know what you think about the quality of this recording. Now I know that I have my headset mic unplugged, so uh, should be good. Um, so let me know if watch one of my older videos, compare it, and see if you like this better. And if so, then I'll use this uh, instead of my headset mic. And I do plan to get a higher quality mic um, probably in a month or two because at the moment I'm still saving up my money for a car and I don't really want to make any major purchases but after I get my car I can save a bit more money and then I'll probably get a new mic which will have far better audio quality but until then you guys are just gonna have to <laughs> endure um, but yeah let me know what you think about my mic quality and uh, leave a like if you like the video and um, leave a comment with any questions that you might have about Pyramid Plunder about anything else uh, subscribe if you want to see more and thank you very much for watching